uh, the way to avoid this is to try to minimize how much a person's taking. So as a healthcare professional, I would say it's best not to engage in any drug use, but this is the old-fashioned Nancy Reagan way of doing things, and it doesn't work uh, for a lot of people. Some people are just are going to use whether they're told that they know it's bad for them, they still will take it. So the next stage is harm reduction, and that says that if you're going to use, minimize how much harm that this creates in your life. So to avoid going into uh, dependency and withdrawal, the rule of thumb is three days. The three day rule is do not use for longer than three days at a time and then follow this up with at least two days of complete abstinence. This is a, a trick that people can use to avoid uh, the, the, these uh, physiological changes that occur in their brains. It can help keep the balance as opposed to an imbalance which tends to happen if a person is using on a more frequent basis. So I hope that helps. That to summarize it, drug dependence is a very complicated situation. A uh, person relies on the drug of choice um, at first to party with but then uses that as a crutch, as a way of staying more awake for example. And um, if they're not using it, um, if they're not being careful and if they're using it too frequently throughout the week, uh, the dependency can sneak up on them. However, to, the best way to avoid this is the three and two rule. And this is to use at the maximum of three days and then to follow this up with two days of total abstinence.